Hello, I'm Lisa Kornberg, the Executive Director here at ODHH. I'm excited to be sharing this month's bulletin with you. ODHH staff has been quite busy this year with legislative session. Now that things are calming down, we're getting back to business as usual. In this issue, we are excited to share information with you about the 150th anniversary of Gallaudet University and the opening of their new museum. In addition, ODHH is responsible for providing support to the Maryland Advisory Council on the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. The Council has historically had three subcommittees, Behavioral Health, Education, and Communication Access. Now, the Council has recently voted to establish a new subcommittee to focus on providing support to the deafblind community. And finally, we are so grateful for the hard work of our interns and want to take a moment to acknowledge all that they do. Thank you for your ongoing support and enjoy the bulletin. Hello. Each year, ODHH welcomes interns from different colleges and universities around the area who want to learn more about state government and services for deaf and hard of hearing people in Maryland. This semester, ODHH had five terrific interns. All of them came to us from Towson University's Deaf Studies program. Samantha, Asia, Latoya, and Leah will all be graduating at the end of the semester. What will they do after graduation? Samantha plans to search for a position that will allow her to continue learning about deaf culture and also continue to improve her ASL skills. She will also be training for her first half marathon. Asia is currently looking for a position in deaf services and also plans to enter the interpreter preparation program at CCBC this summer. Latoya plans to continue to grow within the deaf community and also to improve her ASL skills. She's also planning to attend Gallaudet University for her clinical psychology degree. Leah will be moving back to her home state of New Jersey and will begin her search for a career in deaf services. Adriana will continue to support ODHH throughout the summer and will start as a full-time intern in the fall. Numerous important projects were completed because of all of the interns and their hard work, especially with Legislative Awareness Day, improving our website, and researching topics that affect the deaf community. We wish them the best of luck and extend our gratitude for their work as part of the ODHH team. With those interns leaving, we are currently looking for new interns for the summer of 2014 and the fall of 2014. If you or you know someone who is interested in joining ODHH as an intern, please contact me using the information below. On April 8th, it was a beautiful and sunny day. Gallaudet celebrated its grand opening of its museum for its 150th anniversary. They celebrated with a ribbon cutting. The name of the museum is Gallaudet at 150 and beyond. The museum is located in Chapel Hall, which is known for its beautiful stained glass windows. It is now open to the public. Back in 1864, President Lincoln signed Gallaudet University's charter. The exhibit includes art and photographs of the past, present, and future of Gallaudet, which includes the name change of Gallaudet College to Gallaudet University, the Deaf President Now movement, and Gallaudet's campus renovations that are due to finish by 2022. The museum's mission is to promote and interpret the rich and complex deaf experience. Gallaudet will continue to celebrate its 150th anniversary throughout the year, which includes the campus reunion that is set for this upcoming July 9th to 13th. 
For more information about the museum, please go to For more information about Gallaudet's reunion, thank you. As you all know, we have the Maryland Advisory Council for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing, also known as MACDHH. There are 18 members on the board. Nine are from state agencies, and then the other nine members are from the community. The council already has three subcommittees, education, behavioral health, and communication access. Based on feedback at our last town hall meeting, the deafblind community needs to be included. To have more community involvement, and to develop community collaboration. Therefore, we felt the need to establish a new subcommittee so that you can express your thoughts and concerns and bring them up to the council. Through the subcommittee, the deafblind community can be heard and have the opportunity to express their thoughts and concerns if you all feel that you haven't had the chance to express yourself, this is the perfect opportunity to reach out to the subcommittee. We want to make sure that your thoughts and concerns are met. You may do so by emailing. Thank you.